All right, so in today's video, we're going to be watching a Plat 5 Arisa Ramatra. Now, why are we watching this one? I'll tell you why. Basically, they've only been playing Overwatch for 19 hours. I say only, but they have 19 hours and they just started playing two weeks ago. And they're Plat 5 and they want to know if they're ranked too high. They want to know if they are in Plat after two weeks of gameplay or if they're not in the correct rank yet. And obviously, if we see anything to help out, we will. So, yeah, Plat 5, Arisa Ramatra. They said they played tank a lot, Smite. Uh, your positioning already can be a little bit better on that one. If you're playing a little bit too aggro, that's something I would just recommend. Playing a little bit further back as Arisa. Alright, so... All right, so we've talked about this a little bit on this. It's okay to go for high ground initially, but it's also also okay, okay to like. It's also okay to kind of just like stay low ground as Arissa. All right, so I, I will say this much, and, and um, chat was like saying like, oh, they like actually new to the game, et cetera. The reason why you can tell they're a little bit new to the game here is because you can tell they're not sure where they want to go. I think something that will come with time is the more you play maps, the more you'll get like confident with where you want to go on the map. To give you an idea, you might see me play like that on like Antarctic Peninsula when it was first released, because I have no idea where I'm going. So I'll run in circles, I'll be indecisive about where I want to go. Um, that's what we're seeing so far. So, like, this is something that just will come with time of map awareness. Learning maps, understanding maps. I do think and believe that Overwatch would benefit with some type of system in the game that gives you overheads of the map so you can understand them a little bit more. Right? Because I don't think there's any way to get overheads of the maps in Overwatch. I really do think that eventually I would like to see in Overwatch them add, like, a an overhead map of each map with, like, maybe even just, like, generic names. Um... You so said there are fan-made ones, which which is cool. It's great. I, I I think that's awesome. But I think having that that feature in game would be a little bit better for people being able to understand maps or at least have a general understanding of how those maps work. I feel like especially if somebody's like new to a game, that stuff can benefit them. Like if I'm new to a game and I understand how a map works a little bit more, then I'm gonna be I'm gonna play a little bit better. I'm not saying it's gonna be perfect, but I think that'd be good. So okay, here we go. I, I do like that you're going towards the cart and gravitating towards it, so that's good. Yeah, you can see. Like, you see what I mean about the map awareness, though? It's like... So you have a general idea of where you want to aim sometimes. It's like, we see good moments of... We see good moments of that, but I can tell you just kind of spin in circles. So, like, map awareness is going to help you a lot. I can tell you that much. Like, it's like, what what would have been a play there was you just javelin spin up to the high ground, go get the junk rat, and trade, or at the very least have the junk rat go from the high ground and then keep that high ground and then survive, right? And you kind of, like, spun around. So... You know what I love? That that Somber didn't even need to EMP in you when they did, but this goes back to what I'm talking about. Like, I think you need to, it's gonna take time, but like right there, you don't wanna just like run to the point by yourself and then get rolled, right? You wanna give your teammates time and opportunity to get to the point. You need to be able to create that space, but you can't create it by just running at them 1v5. You're gonna go back to spawn. Yeah. I, I'm seeing it a lot right now. You're trying to figure out the maps a little bit still. I can see it right away. At least that's what it seems like.
Yeah, so like, here, here's what's happening. And, and, and once again, this is kind of summarizes what was talked about initially in, 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 the, in the review, was that they are new to the game. A lot of what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out what's happening. So you hear the Junkrat tire, you hear the Junkrat tire, and then you stop, you just, you worry about the Junkrat tire. So in your mind, you're going, there's a Junkrat tire, that's it. And you're spinning in circles. Then you get lost in the map, you get stuck on, a, on the map. What you want to do in these situations is go, what can I do here? And what I mean by that is, okay, I'm going to get aggressive, and I'm just going to use my ultimate. Right there is a perfect opportunity to go in there and be aggressive with your ult, because you ain't surviving that. And if you back up, you're not going to have your ultimate that, you're not, you may not have your ultimate on a retake. So with time, and this, and like I said, this is you're new to the game, so this is this is fine. With time, you're gonna want to change that reaction to oh, there's a junk rat tire. Let me spin in circles to let me go be proactive and aggressive with my ultimate, and that will take time. You might be able to use it now. Maybe you'll get your ultimate off here. It'll be a great ult, right? Yup, that was that was an ult. That was just a good play by the life weaver. Okay, I need to pause for a second. You said he doesn't seem new to the game, though. It's just like he doesn't have any game sense. That's because he's because he's new to the game. That, that that's they're, they're, because they're new to the game, so they're not gonna. If you're saying that their aim, like he's using his text well, and that's fair. That that that's that can be fair. But keep in mind, like they do have about Aris is like their go-to. So like you can figure out the basics of a hero without having any idea on how the game sense of the game would work. You know what I'm saying? So like you can like have mechanics down, but then not have the the game sense down because there's so much to learn in Overwatch. You said one of the things that's happening. Wait, is this actually happening? You said in Smite there's a stronger penalty for backwards movement, so that's why you're seeing him spin away. I'm mean, actually I'll I'll, I'll I'll see if I can recognize that. I mean, they backed up there. That was fun. Yeah, I mean, like, I... My initial reaction to this is like, it's just, yeah, you're, you're probably not in class, but like you, your mechanics are like, okay, enough to where I think once you start to develop the, the game sense, I think you should probably climb after that. And keep in mind, game sense is something that you'll always be working on in Overwatch. That includes anybody in top 500 all the way down to bronze five. So you're all, you're, you're, in Overwatch, you're constantly learning on things. So like, oh, I think once you develop more of understandings of even just the maps, I think you'll be in a pretty good spot with it. So. Yeah, exactly. Well, yes, I mean, I, I think right now it feels like some of the cooldowns are just being used to use them. Which, which, once again, that comes with time, right? Like, this is like, this is one of these situations where I, I can I can comment on, like, as you learn more about the map, you'll understand. Now, one thing is, that is correct is for sure is, like, cooldown usage is almost random. Like, why are you javelin spinning there? Like, what's the reason behind that? I'm not saying that, like, oh, why are you javelin spinning? What are you doing? It's more like, what is the reason behind you javelin spinning? Once you start to figure out why you're using those abilities, then it becomes a lot easier. Not like, oh, that was terrible. It's more like, what is the reason in behind you're using the ability? And as you figure that out for hero, then you improve on those heroes also. So like right there, you were just using javelin spin to use javelin spin. There was no really rhyme or reason to it, but like you used it. So once you start to learn, okay, I don't want to use my javelin spin because just of that, you then go, okay, I want to use my javelin spin for, you know, um, the junk rat and the honor are running at me in a straight line. I need to prevent some damage. Or I want to be aggressive with your ult, like right now. Perfect. That's a good, uh, that's a good use of javelin spin, see? So that's what I mean. Things like that, right? So that, that that's 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 like another step you'll probably want to like take from all of this is like look as to why you're using an ability, and then minimize how much you're spamming that ability 
just randomly. Like you javelin spin at Azaria like five times. Azaria can damage through that. You don't want to do that as much. Do I javelin spin at Azaria? Yeah, that's usually to prevent other damage across the board, but yeah. And that was a solid hold. Like right there, like, to give you an example, I, I, I just saw what you did right there. So you, you randomly use your gold and then javelin spin right after. But what you want to do there more ideally is to javelin spin to the point to prevent any damage and then use your gold to really survive what they're doing. So you could win this team fight, you could lose this team fight, but when, when you're using your cooldowns the way that you're using them, that's why you want to improve on your cooldown usage and why we're mentioning that when we're watching some of these bots, right? You know what, chat? Like, I'm okay with that. Like, I, I like the idea that you went for there. Like, going for the support. You said this isn't 19, 19 hours in, though. So, I, so I'm gonna be real with you. All right, because I, I know you've been you've been talking about how like this is just 19 hours of gameplay. And 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 listen, if they decided to submit a VOD and they're on like a different account and they're going whatever at that point. But everybody will like learn the game differently. So like what might be your 19 hours into the game might be different for somebody else. Like there's no default like 19 hours is going to look like this for every single player, right? For example, they went tank because they went tank because they play a game called Smite. Now Smite's obviously a bit different than Overwatch, but if you have an understanding of why you're tanking, that could help you in those 19 hours. That could help you in those 19 hours because you know what a tank is supposed to do. Now you have to apply some of that knowledge and I and be like, "Okay, well if I'm playing tank in this game and I have to go for this like I can do the same in Overwatch the reason why I think it's 19 hours and keep in mind I could I, you know maybe it is someone on an alt account etc I don't think it is but if, if, the reason why it looks like 19 hours to me is because the map the map awareness the map awareness is all over the place right no idea where to go half the time on that one I'm already seeing that to begin with that's 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 that's, that's number one Number two, the ability usage. I'm seeing the same thing. Using the abilities, understanding the abilities are there to be used, but not using them effectively. So like, that is stuff that I'm seeing, and I'm seeing, okay, they have a lot to learn. You can still have good mechanics into a game, right? You can still, you can have good mechanics and like, look like you're not, but then still be new to a game. So why don't I put the food in the fridge and just eat it warm? Well, it's a, it's a cold sub, so I, I, I don't think I want to have my cold sub in a... <laughs> Uh, Macman, thanks for the four months of the finish bracket. Thank you, appreciate it. And Chad, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. Thank you. That will pop up in a second, Chad. This uh, once again, you, you've been here for the Chad super chats. You'll know exactly what's coming. Couldn't tell you. So far, that was pretty good right there. When's the hoggery work? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So just, just to go back to what I was talking about, and I think you'll learn you'll learn from this. Think about why you're using your ability, not just use your ability. Okay. Not fair at all. Thanks for three months of finish friends. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, on to Ramatra now. Go off to Marissa. You had decent position in there, but now you're on to on to Ramatra. So now, when you're playing Ramatra here, I want you to think about why you're using your ability. Okay, I don't mind that vortex. Slowing the Zarya, getting a little bit of damage. Perfect. Why'd you shield it? See? And you look at that and you go, well, you shield to hit your butt. So be careful of that. Don't Nemesis form right now randomly. I actually do like your usage of uh, the left click there. All right? I will try to watch some of the rework discussion here. Okay. So now you want to slow them. So you want to use your Vortex. Just to slow them down a little bit. Right? If they get aggressive. I'm okay with that. Chat, you might look at that and go, what is that? That's okay. That means they can't push into your team. And now you see the Zarya. And I want you to think about this next shield. Where are you going to put it? I, I don't mind that shield. That's a good shield. That's good. Your LOS is the supports. There you go. I, I will say the Vortex worked there, but it seemed like you just randomly used the Vortex there. There you go. All right, not bad. See? So, like, I, the, the, I want you to focus on that, and I think you'll improve. Straight up. I, I, I can already tell mechanics. 
They're there. They're, they're, they've, been, they've been pretty good. Right? It's now about using your abilities correctly. And knowing how the maps work. That shield, I, I get the idea. But I'm not gonna, like... I'm not gonna be too, like, oh, why that shield? I, I made sense. You were just trying to, trying to get rid of the LOS of winning. That's a good, that's a good vortex. Nice. I'm okay with that shield. Who's doing angle? I, 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 see, that type of shield is that you want to probably save it a little bit for in front of you, like to the left. But I also understand the reason behind that, so I'm not going to get like too like, oh, well, you know what I mean? Like just... You want my initial take here? I think you have a better understanding of Ramatra more than you do Orisa right now. Not that you don't want to play Orisa, but I think like, and I don't know how much Ramatra you were playing in like your, your quick play when you were first playing, but your general understanding of Ramatra is definitely a little bit better than what we saw with Orisa. And like, this is what I mean is like, I think as you learn how to play heroes, you'll get a better understanding of that. Plus like, another thing that's like super, can be super underrated in Overwatch is like understanding what the other heroes do. Like, to even like the most like basic of levels, because then you know how to play against those heroes, right? You know? Then you gotta go for some damage. Here we go. Keep in mind, when there's a javelin spin, try your best not to throw it into the javelin spin. That can eat all the damage. Now, keep in mind, chat, you might hear me come up with, like, or give some advice right now that's a little bit more of, like, you're like, oh, yeah, I know you're like, that risk to damage. Keep in mind that when people are new to the game, things that are, like, really, like, obvious to us may not be as obvious because it's still, you're still super new to the game, right? You know what I mean? Oh, their Ana's definitely going for some damage, that's for sure. That Ana's certainly having a good time. Getting the right idea. Be wary of your position in a little bit in a second. I, I, I want to point out, like, you're taking... In theory, you're taking a better angle for the Widow. I want to show you something. I want I want you to see what this Widow sees, right? Because, you're, like you said, you're... New to the game, so like sometimes these angles you won't even like recognize. You going that way over and over again is actually playing into the widow sight lines. So you want to, even though like look what the look what the widow can see here. Do you see the sight lines here? So you give yourself a little bit better of an opportunity when you give yourself this cover to not only LOS them, but you have a quick way of getting underneath them and it lose a lot of value for the Ana and or the widow. And the widow has to then over peak, and if they over peak, it's easier to get them. I like the idea of trying to prevent the widow from doing what they're doing, but you're also playing into the widow sight lines. See. Like, like, right there, that you don't want to do that peak. Like, that Widow missed their shot there, but a lot of the times you're going to go back to spawn real quick right there. Now, this is the better route. See this? You're taking away that LOS. If your teammates decide to run through there over and over again and get rolled by that Widow, that's going to be on your teammates, not you. Job running in there. Um, one thing I recommend there is keep the momentum going with your Nemesis form in a second. One of the cool parts about Ramatra is that you can Nemesis form. Ult to get Nemesis form, and by the time your ultimate's pretty much done, for the most part, you're gonna have Nemesis form again. You can keep the, the map control going. Looks like it's gonna work out for you, but those are things you can, like, kind of take into account. Nice! Good attack! That was good! Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like you've played more Ramatra while learning the game than you've played Orisa. That's the first that's the first initial reaction I have when I see that. Is it feels to me like you've played more Ramatra than Orisa. Or you understand the tank better with like the abilities. Waiting gains us nothing. You are safe with me. Did you've actually played Orisa way more? Really? Oh, damn. 
Well, that's confirmed. Then maybe only a couple games of Ramacha. You definitely, it, it seems like you have a better understanding that Ramacha was killing them. Because when you were playing Arisa, you were just hitting buttons. Shield there was a little bit ambitious. That goes back to what I talked about, why you're using the shield. Like, think about what you're using it for there. <clears throat> uh, Trey, thanks for the 28 months of care. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Happy third day before Thursday. Oh, that's fair. Thank you for the 28 months. Appreciate it, Trey. And Sapphire, thanks for the gift of stuff. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, listen, I'll tell you this much. You're already you're already killing lamps and shooting at pylons and stuff. You're, you're already figuring it out, all right? That, that, that's already a good start. Because usually the idea in Overwatch is everybody thinks somebody else is going to do that, and then nobody does it. Now, I don't mind that shield. Also, one thing you can do there if you really want to, also, you keep throwing your vortex in. One thing you can do there if you really want to is you can shield off the window. Um, you don't have to, but it can definitely help. There, especially when they're solo window. In. Yeah, Alton, this is good. This is a good Alton. I like this Alton. Be careful of where you go here and, and use your block soon. All right, good job. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your Ramatra has been like much better than your your Arissa was. So I think one thing if you're gonna play Arissa is really, really, really focus on like how you're gonna play that hero. I'm not gonna look into like maybe you could have gotten the VAP sooner or later. Like that's that, that comes with like, like game time. The sim turret next to the car. There you go. Listen, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. You might be new to the game right now, but let me tell you what. People are going to absolutely love you for killing the Sim Turrets and the Pylons and the Lamps. I just want to point that out. I tell you, it's always a thing in Ranked, and I do this sometimes too, where everybody, everybody always thinks somebody else is going to kill the, the Turrets or the Pylons or the Lamps, and then nobody does. And then that's how they get so much value. I do that too. Damage, good job. Be careful here, you, you, you have no um, you have no form in a second, so that fashion can shred you. I mean, like. You know you can shoot through the shields. Good, good. Taking map control. Yeah, your sports have been playing really well too. Nice. Good job. Yeah, so here's my take. First of all, definitely have a lot to work on with the Arissa, specifically, because I think Arissa, you just kind of spamming your cooldowns. Ramatra, I think you played really well. I would say this much. You said that you you think you're ranked too high. And I, I, will, I will agree with that to an extent. I think that if you are able to figure out maps more and just like the general like awareness of where you want to go on maps and how you want to play the heroes, I think you'll be in a good spot. I, I think at this point, once you learn the maps a bit more and understand where you want to go, and like you said, you played, you mentioned something about Smite not being used to going backwards a lot of the time and things like that. Like there's a few things that I think with just by playing, you're going to be fine. I, your mechanics were pretty good. Don't be surprised if like you end up out of plat five into like gold. It happens sometimes when you're brand new, like just a dead that does happen. But overall, like you weren't playing that bad. And I think you I think you will 
you'll be on the right track to climb. Well, here's the thing. You said it feels like plat to you in that. I, I can say this much, that some of the stuff that was working won't necessarily work in another game because of, like, that map awareness. Like, sometimes the other team might punish you for just sitting on the low ground where you were uh, or getting stuck on a wall or, like, using your Arisa cooldowns too much, right? It's working this game, and it still was a close game, right? But I think, like... Once that becomes more consistent, you'll 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 be fine. And that's my take on that. That's how I see it. That's I, I think overall it was it was good gameplay. Probably ranked too high just because obviously plat right away. But like I still think like I I would not be surprised for you to be back in the plat real quick or even like stay at that plat five level. But I think like you probably would be more in that gold range. And that's only because of what I was talking about. I think as long as you start to learn that stuff, you'll be in a good you'll be in a good spot. All right. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button by hitting the like button. Sub to all three YouTubes if you haven't. A lot of awesome videos in there. If you want to submit your own spectator, look in the description below where my Discord is. You go to my Discord, that's where you can submit it. Also, follow everything in that description. Also, we record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch chat right there. Stop by the streams. We have a good time on here. Follow everything. We're almost to 300k on YouTube. It's unreal. With that being said, I hope you have an amazing day slash night.